this guy here. Today, today I'd like to talk about free nomics and language learning. Free nomics is a term coined by I think his name is Chris Anderson. Who? Are... Okay. Who's Chris Anderson? Never heard of the guy. Explains how in the modern world the cost of distributing information on the internet is so cheap that some basic economic terms of reference, a basic paradigm has, has changed or is changing. Uh, that the model increasingly will be that things, many things, will be free. Because the additional cost of many things will be free. Ugh. Freenomics is a term coined by Alex S. Gabor, and it's a copywritten, registered trademark of the Infinite Freedom Foundations. And this guy, who is this guy? He writes a book. He's promoting a book here. Freenomics is not about things being free. Uh, Freenomics is about an economic system that frees people that doesn't enslave them. This guy has got some serious definitions to clear up in his head. Listen to the rest of his definition of freenomics. Servicing a thousand people rather than servicing ten people is so low that in many cases if you can get one percent of your users to pay for a premium service, 99 percent of the users will be able to use a very useful service, although a scaled-down range of service. Okay, so he's saying 1% pay for a premium and 99% get it free? So 1% of the planet's going to pay for air and the rest of us can breathe it for free? Is that what he's saying? How about gasoline, oil, power? 1% is going to pay for power and 99% are not going to pay for it? Who is this guy? Free of charge. So that the bulk of people using a range of services uh, or products on the internet will in fact be free users. Those free users are in a sense the marketing and the promotion investment in order to attract that 1% of users who want a premium service. This is a convoluted twist on the one percenters being opposed by the 99% of the population that doesn't have the wherewithal to produce or create whatever. This is like twisted doublespeak, if you ask me. Uh, we have an online language learning system called Link. Uh, we use the internet. The internet. I didn't build the internet. I didn't invest in the internet. Uh, the additional cost. Now that's a lie because by putting this video on YouTube, he's investing his time, and people's time is not free. We only have 86,000 seconds a day to invest our time, and this guy is talking about what? For us to this use is not the internet, or for our users to access Link via the internet, is zero. Because they already have the internet in place, which they are using for rain. Now, the cost of looking at Google is not zero. This guy is like, whoop. Where is he coming from? What school of economics did he go to? For purposes, paying their... Uh, utility bills or sending each other, sending their friends email. So the cost to use what we offer, the distribution cost, is zero. Not true. Uh, now, let's get back to language learning. Traditionally, in language learning, people would either go to school, which can cost anywhere, cost anywhere from hundreds of dollars to over a thousand dollars a month. Or if they were self-learners, they would go and buy Montessori school. I used to pay a thousand dollars a month for two children who weren't even mine. Where's the freenomics in that? And I guess I have been a traditional.
traditional language learner. I have lots of books at home. Uh, for a while I was learning Korean. So here is a book. It's a big thick book. Beginning two. That means there's a beginning one. And there's intermediate and so forth. Um, yeah, can we speed it up? a book that I bought on Korean. I mean, look at the sum of sense the back. Look at the size of this book. It's a great thick book. It really doesn't get you very far. But it, it's, it's some assistance, okay? I buy books on Russian here. Um, get to the point, I please. Come on now. I smaller books. This is one colloquial Korean that I bought. I bought a colloquial Russian. Yada, yada, yada. Get to the point. A, What's your book uh, that you're selling? Teach yourself Russian. And, and part of the reason for that teach is... Yourself some that Hungarian. ...that it's often very useful to cover the same ground uh, via different books. I, I'm not a great believer in the grammatical explanations. I'm looking for content all the time, so I have, in the past, bought these books. But nowadays, that's no longer necessary. And uh, I, I make allusion to that in my book, which I wrote there it comes. Years ago, The Linguist, A Personal Guide to Language Learning. It was, by the way, translated... What about Chinese semantics? In China. You don't even know the and definition of freemomics. How can you have a book about linguistics? That language learning is something that is very individual, it's very personal, that a heavy emphasis on, on listening and reading to individual content can be very effective, provided you have the right attitude. And in that uh, book I spoke, and this is five, six years ago, about the internet as a community of uh, a convivial... Convivial? Uh, what the hell does that mean? Each other and helping each other. That world is now becoming more and more of a reality. I don't uh, think so. Today, for example, to study a language, I no longer go out and buy books. Uh, what I need is two things. First of all, I need this, which is an iPod Shuffle, $50. <sighs> you can also get a larger iPod if you want. I have it with me all the time. And, of course, because... Is Apple I paying him to do this? Right here, I go to Link, where... There is I bet he doesn't have a clue about, about what thoughtware content. is. You got people out there hijacking words that were invented by other people so and claiming it like the internet was invented by this who? Little device and whoops and and this and the internet have replaced all these books and it's really? much much it's cheaper. It's not replaced nothing. So the books are still there. We at Link we want to take advantage of this. We want to offer. This opportunity. This is manipulation of words to control your mind. This guy, where is he coming? Who hired him? First of all, we have to make Link as attractive a place as possible for people. We have to do what? We have to do nothing. There's no free in Freenomics if you have to do things. On the site, the explanations that we provide, and we are continuing to do that. Our developers are working constantly Developers. to uh, improve our functions and to make it easier and more fun for people to use. Fun. Uh, the second thing is, going back to the original point. What is he selling, a book? We have to establish a range of services and functions. What that services? Are gay, attractive to our free users so that they will keep coming and tell their friends. <laughs> But B, that we have a range I bet he wants to go public and be a billionaire like services that are sufficiently attractive. The Google billionaires. So a small percentage of our users will actually pay us uh, for those additional services. And those people will find Okay, those so we're gonna get one percent of the population to pay everybody else's gas bill. Is that correct? Is that what I'm hearing you say freenomics is? That's not freenomics. So they don't mind the fact that they are, in fact, supporting the other 99% of people. What is this, a new welfare system? So what are you talking people. about here? This is not freenomics the that you're talking about. The 99% of people who are using the site for free actually are helping us because they are spreading the word about Link so that if we can continue to But it's costing them time and energy to spread the word. It so it's not free. <laughs> get a certain See? percentage who are happy to pay for... Happy? Oh, everybody's happy to pay. That's the model that as long as you got enough money coming in, everyone's happy to pay for the whatever. The beneficiaries, of course, are the language learners, or those language This guy doesn't understand the definition of money, or free, or freedom. 
So I will be doing some more uh, podcasts. Yada, yada, yada. This is your first podcast. Some of the other aspects, some of the other pieces of the uh, link model. And uh, I look forward to... Uh, link to model? That, uh, ...that you may have. Is this like a Will P. Wilson media suffix type of situation? What the heck was that? Hello. Oh, he's back. I'm the president of the Linguist Institute. And the Linguist Institute. I speak ten languages. I can oh, myself good for you. In the sense that a linguist is someone who enjoys speaking more than one language. I even wrote a book called The Way of the Linguist. Do you want to learn another language? Why not try to learn like a child? A child doesn't study rules of grammar. A child listens. So we're off and phrenomics, and we're on to this book. See, he uses the word the phrenomics to suck people in. Enough of this guy. Thanks for listening. <laughs>